It's a serious tone. It's a serious day. So this is the new MacBook Pro, and this is probably not the first video you've watched about it. The 2018 Core i9, the most controversial MacBook Pro I can think of in recent memory. The hot garbage, as my pal Dave2D likes to call it. My overall thoughts on it are that I'm disappointed. This thing gets hot, apparently, and uh, there's some, there's a whole thermal throttling conversation going on. John got his hands on it. You're thinking about this all wrong. Hear me out because there is a lot to talk about. This piece of hot garbage in front of me is actually 6,700 US dollars. And this is the farthest they will let you take it. They call this a pro machine, so why not order it for you guys? This is definitely not the value point though. How much is the Core i7? Will. So the Core i7, just that upgrade to the Core i9 is 300 more. Maybe save the 300 and just get the i7. Based on the information that's out there right now, it seems that some of the throttling issues have something to do with the GPU and CPU working in tandem and heating this baby up. You want it to be thin and light? You want it to be powerful? You're asking a lot. Could Apple make a fatter MacBook Pro? I would still buy it. Maybe the i9 model, it bumps up a little bit in scale. Regardless of which tests you're looking at, this thing has been hot. Oh, look at the presentation. You feel special. Six grand on the Throttle Master. Throttle or no throttle. It is a bit incredible that there's a Core i9 in a form factor like this at all. <laughs> this one is 87 watts, USB type C. From a form factor perspective, this is the same stuff as the old one. I also had my criticisms of the previous version. I don't like the touch bar that much. And then of course, no diversity of ports at all. It's just type C, you get one headphone jack, you get Thunderbolt three on this side times two, Thunderbolt three on this side. The keyboard apparently has changed. There were some issues with the previous one, dust issues, keys were getting stuck. So this new one now has a membrane in there that can supposedly protect from it and maybe it makes it a little quieter. Smells like almost 7,000 USD. There is something else that's new on the new model here. True tone display. Your Mac automatically adapts to ambient lighting conditions to make colors appear consistent in different environments. People who are into photo editing, video editing possibly as well, any kind of color correction, a more accurate representation and therefore interpretation of colors. Now I do have my old version. So new one, old one here. And let's check out this keyboard thing if I can feel the difference or not. Oh yeah. Yeah, the new one, it's a little more muffled. There's a little bit less clack to it. Typing feels the same. It's a bit quieter if that matters to you. Okay, so this is obviously a very pretty machine and I opened this video up by calling it hot garbage. Obviously I'm having a bit of fun. Absurd. This is a top spec model. If this here wasn't going to constitute an investigation of sorts, there's no way that I think that level of spec is justified. That is just way too much money for what this thing is. The i9 in general is not well suited for this particular form factor. As is the case with many Apple products, there is this compromise where you want something that's thin and light and stylish, but then you kind of want it to be powerful too. How powerful? Where will I add and where will I subtract? And when you spec something like this out to like 6,700 bucks US, you're nowhere near the value point. You're nowhere near the right amount of compromise because performance probably trumps everything for you. You could have a multi-system setup where you have a desktop setup and then a laptop. At $6,700, you could have that. In the PC realm, there's really nothing with a form factor like this with an i9 chip in it. But ultimately, I understand why people are upset. Dave's video came out, he tested this thing with Adobe Premiere, this thing started to cook. And so people were like, man, if I'm paying that kind of money, I don't want any type of thermal throttling. I never want that to be the case. Apple can't do magic here. 
If it's gonna be in this form factor, software is gonna utilize this hardware differently and your results are gonna vary depending on if you're in an Adobe product, an Adobe software product, which isn't optimized, and an Apple software product like Final Cut, which is more optimized. I don't think we're breaking a ton of news here. Apple doesn't really represent value. That's not really what it's about. Form factor, thinness, build quality is going to be as important, if not more important. For example, as John mentioned in his video, the founder and developer of Geekbench had a completely different use case scenario in which this thing performed better from a thermal perspective and he was using it to compile software. So it had nothing to do with video editing at all. Nonetheless, I don't think this thing is complete garbage, okay? But I definitely think it's pricey and possibly unjustified in this specification as well. I think the value point might even be in the 13 inch model. What price does that start at, Will? 1300, no touch bar, and then 1800 width. Start price and I really do believe that a lot of people are thinking that they need more horsepower than they probably do there's a lot of users out there that are buying overkill hardware to begin with they want to make a form factor that's suitable for Jack and Kirk and Will and me and then they also want to make a MacBook that a student wants it's hard to figure out what that form factor should look like and maybe what we really want is a product that doesn't even exist maybe the real solution is a uh, another product for that group of people we might potentially be held back by a design decision here a slightly fatter pro macbook mm. What are you going to do with this thing? The Mac Pro hasn't been touched since 2013. 2013. There does seem to be this sense of neglect for the Pro group. When you think of MacBook, do you think of Pro? I've got plans to do more with this system. Keep it locked. Stay tuned. That's a very expensive laptop. That's a very expensive laptop.